Hi, today we're going to explain the new periodontal classification system which was released last year following the World Workshop in Periodontology in 2017. Previously, there were four main categories of periodontal disease according to the old 1999 classification system, necrotizing diseases and periodontal diseases as a manifestation of systemic disease remain the same, however aggressive and chronic periodontitis have been replaced with a single category called periodontitis. This new category has two key components, staging and grading. Staging represents the severity of the disease. Stages 1, 2 and 3 are synonymous with mild, moderate and severe categories of the disease used previously. This was based on clinical attachment loss in millimeters. Stage 4 represents the most severe form of the disease where other complexity factors may be present such as vertical bony defects, excessive tooth mobility and the need for complex rehabilitation due to tooth loss. The BSP recommends that the staging can now be done based on radiographic bone loss rather than attachment loss for clinical ease. Stage 1 represents less than 15% bone loss. Stage 2 bone loss limited to the coronal third of the root, stage 3 bone loss reaching the mid third of the root and stage 4 with bone loss reaching the apical third of the root. The second component is grading. This represents the rate of bone loss that has already taken place. Grade A is a slow rate, grade B is moderate and grade C is a rapid rate. This can be calculated using a simple calculation where the percentage of bone loss is divided by the patient's age. To make it easy, you only need to remember the extremes of bone loss. So if the percentage bone loss is less than half the patient's age, it is grade A. If the percentage bone loss is greater than the patient's age, it is grade C. Everything else in between is grade B. To put this in the context of time, someone with grade A bone loss can expect to lose about 30% of bone by the time they are 80. Someone with grade B will lose up to 80% by the time they are 80. And someone with grade C is likely to lose their teeth in their 50s or 60s or even sooner. In summary, the new system includes staging 1 to 4 based on severity and grading A to C based on the rate of bone loss. When making a diagnosis, we can also include information about how widespread the disease is. 30% of the teeth affected being the cutoff point between localized and generalized. In some cases, a molar incisor pattern may be found. The BSP recommends including additional secondary criteria as a part of the diagnosis, such as the stability of the disease and the presence of other risk factors such as smoking or uncontrolled diabetes. Let's look at an example to see how this system can be used in clinical practice. This is Charlie who is 45 years old. A periapical radiograph shows bone loss extending to the mid-third of the root. This puts him in the stage 3 category. If we were to divide his bone loss by his age, we would get a ratio of greater than 1, which is classified as grade C. Charlie has a high bleeding score and pockets ranging from 5 to 7 millimeters, which means his disease is unstable. He also likes to smoke, so we can record this as a risk factor. Finally, most of his teeth are affected, so his disease is generalized. As a result, the diagnosis is composed of two key components, staging and grading, and two secondary components indicating stability and the presence of risk factors. There are a few additional points to note. The staging and grading is used based on the worst tooth in the patient's mouth. Secondly, we consider it to be best practice to use clinical attachment loss in conjunction with percentage bone loss wherever possible to make our diagnosis. Finally, don't forget to use your clinical judgment and common sense rather than getting lost in the specifications and technicalities when using this new classification system.